Hi guys, this is just a quick video about cute little store that I discovered about a year ago. I was growing very unhappy with the soil mix miracle Grow that I buy in Home Depot, Lowe's, and really there was no other options for a cactus soil mix. So um, I was looking for places where I can get a little more options and I found this little store that's called Lush Lights and it's located here in Niles, Michigan. And not only did they have some different soil options, they have cocoa break, they have fertilizer, some natural things that you can use to fight pests. They even have fluorescent lights and some rare plants like some uh, huernias, stapelias, or different kind of aloes. And, and I was really happy uh, and I wanted to share that with you. So if you're in the area, you may uh, want to come and visit them. So let's take a look. So here are their plants that are for sale. They, some of them look a little messy and overcrowded because they think the debris need to be cleaned up. But there are some really healthy ones. Um, and this is Huernia Zebrina, lifesaver plant, which is kind of hard to find here in Michigan, except if you buy online. Um, because of the lights that are colorful, it's going to be really hard to show you exact color of these succulents. But this might be some kind of Pachyphytum. This is Fred Ives that is growing a pup and it looks pretty healthy except for these the dead leaves that need to be cleaned up there is some really beautiful looking aloes they have um, and some gasterias um, then they also have some uh, kalanhoi plants like this one here i don't know the idea of but it's kind of orangish brown uh, then uh, they have echeverias like this topsy turvy, some graptocetums, um, this beautiful big Kalanhoi tomentosa panda plant. And then, if I'm correct, this would be a black gem aloe. They have a lot of this one and it looks really healthy. Um, and then there is some sansevierias like this one here that are a little bit shorter. Um, then below there are these pencil trees, um, some more euphorbias, aloes, and another interesting plant that I don't have, but it's pretty. They have a few of this one as well, some variegated aloes as well. <clears throat> yeah, there is some more aloes, some more sansevierias, and variegated hoya. They also have this curly hoya, I don't know the exact name of this one, but they have a lot of the rooted cuttings for sale. Um, then there is some bigger specimens on the side that look really healthy. And uh, then there is even some few little litops, some euphorbias. I don't know if this is crown of thorns, possibly. Not sure. Then there is uh, some more aloes and there is this beautiful big Stapelia giganta. Actually, there is three pots here for sale. Um, another big specimen. So I'll show you now around what they else they have beside plants. They have, of course, pots for sale. Um, then uh, they have different types of soil mixes. I have completely stopped buying miracle Grow from Lowe's and Home Depot and I started making my own soil mix. I buy this organic cactus mix and there was another one they had with uh, warm castings. And I've been combining this uh, soil mix with um, a cocoa brick and perlite or pumice depending what I'm making it, preparing it for and it seems to be pretty airy and good for plants. Um, I bought Cocoa Break here for $15 and I've been pretty happy because I read reviews and I was scared to buy because people say it's so hard to you know, set them apart. But this was super easy. You put it in the water and like in an hour it's ready to be used and um, it doesn't have salt residue. So I think this is pretty good brand. Um, so I would recommend you to try that and mix soil airy. And then here they have something interesting. It's 100% recycled glass that's used uh, for uh, top dressing to prevent gnats from getting into your soil. And um, yeah, so it's kind of size of a pumice, maybe a little bit smaller, uh, one eighth probably less than one eighth of an inch and um, 
so supposedly works for prevention of that so it would be interesting to try and then they also have these clay bowls some people like to use that I don't really use them much but I know that they're harder to find in the area so it's kind of good to know because only IKEA has it and that's like two and a half hours away or maybe buying online and then they do have lights like I said if you're trying to uh, make your shelves for succulents to have uh, enough sunlight during the winter this is the place to visit if you don't want to order online and um, I think the prices are pretty similar so it would be a good place to check out and then they also have all kinds of different products that I don't even know what they're for but it would be interesting to learn more um, I ordered 100% organic neem oil because I was listening Lynn's video how important it is to use it and um, I'll let you know how that works and just to quickly show you the plant that I've got there, I think it's either Graptosedum or Sedum Ghosty. Uh, it's really cute um, and has some new rosettes and pups growing. Uh, so thank you for watching and if you're in the area, hope you're gonna find this information useful and find stuff that you need for your succulents. See you in the next video.